Uh, I came from Canada because we have war in my country. And everything, everything uh, in my life, now I look just for my kids. I need uh, my kids, he stay in school. He go for a new university. He go maybe doctor, dentist, anything. I came here just for my kids because I live three years in Lebanon. My kids, he no have school. I look for a future, my kids. Uh, I see something black for my future kids. Now I come here, my kids, he go school, like it school. Just I look for future, my kids. Actually, uh, all the people I know in, from my country, they want to move to Canada. <laughs> I can't bring all of them, but I hope uh, to invite my mom or something. The people want, uh, many people need a chance. And uh, I, saw, I think uh, to be, um, there is a quality here uh, between people. That's something, it's really, really important for people. Because they doesn't care about if you rich or poor. They doesn't care about if you men or a woman. There is a quality. Just uh, what you have, what you gonna do. They support me. The person, it himself, not nothing else. And this something is really important for the new generation in Egypt. We need it actually. So they all of them they looking for a chance like this. He doesn't care about the color, the, the family, the money. No, no. It's really difficult, for, especially for teenagers. Yeah. I came to Canada because I got a lot of problems in my country. I lost my job. I lost my, uh, my home. I lost uh, two children. That was uh, after the United States came in our country. Everything destroyed. I was working with the United States. I did many projects. Uh, same my job, I am called structure. But uh, some people don't like that. And uh, they kidnapped me. And I paid the uh, money for them. After that, they told me I must to live, to leave my, uh, my home. I left my home and uh, the UN uh, gave me call and told me, okay, if I can to come over to the Embassy Canada, because Canada accepted me with my children. I was happy that time. And they told me, uh, which uh, province do you like? I told them, I don't have any idea about anything in Canada, because uh, I am not uh, uh, I didn't think anything about anything because I need just to to stay with uh, my family and stay uh, in safety place or peace, something to protect my family. I need to live uh, with uh, in the city, quiet city, with people. Uh, quiet because you know i told you uh, i i lost everything in my country and i got shock in my like trauma yeah just i need to stay to relax and he told me he will send me for a, a beautiful place and uh, he sent me here in st john's i am happy here with the with my big family 
I mean here big my family, uh, Canadian people, Newfoundlander people, good people, nice people, because they helped me uh, all the time. I appreciated that. Everything was a change. Everything was different than one uh, was I, right? The weather is different. The house is different. The culture is different. Everything was different, right? But after a while, you will be used to it, right? The biggest, the biggest things was the biggest change was uh, languages. That's big different for me here in Newfoundland. When I came to Canada, I have no idea about the English. When I start here, I start from zero. Yeah, I had a good support, honestly. If I don't have that support, I wouldn't speak English now. My children are very happy uh, because uh, now he has different language. Uh, he ha before speak Arabic and little bit Turkish because I live in Turkey. And now uh, he has English here. My, my children speak very well for English. Zainab and Al Hassan and Ali. And Ali has now four languages Arabic, Turkish, English, and the French. I am very happy here in Canada. I came here and it's not all rosy. Uh, I've had the toughest time in my middle school between grade seven and grade eight. Well, grade, yeah, grade seven and grade eight. Uh, I understood English, but I wasn't able to speak back in English. So it was really weird when the teacher would be teaching, I would write everything down in Burmese, translate it directly from English to Burmese. That was like my first month of trying to cope to that. And I had a lot of bullies and it was the weirdest way to find a bully. Um, people were very friendly at first and uh, with my misunderstanding of English language, I couldn't pronounce the word Patrick, which is very weird because my fiance is Patrick. <laughs> I couldn't pronounce the word Patrick, so I always said Petra, and that offended the school jock named Patrick. And I have been made miserable by him for the entirety of my um, middle school, and I just hated him. And Every day I just said, you know, it's not end of the world. I'm gonna to move to a different school. Next year, these people are very athletically inclined, so they're going to go to somewhere that has scholarship away from this shitty school I'm gonna to go to. So, but it, it happened. They didn't follow me, and I had a wonderful high school year. Um, but that was like one of the darkest years of my life, it's just, before a child, I was very angsty. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I go, me and my wife, uh, two hours in day for uh, college. We have teacher. She uh, learned me language. Uh, but short time. Maybe 
any refugees he go for different town or different city or big uh, city he have a long time for school uh, I uh, learn language in my work first time but I start work I look for everybody who speak English is everybody who speak English I don't understand anything next time I no go work my owner he called me why you no come work today I say because I don't understand anything he say okay you come maybe next time you know everything after one month my owner he say you stay and work with yourself I say it's hard he say yeah it's hard first time but uh, and you know my exists you stay all your life you don't uh, learn English I stay but I make this <laughs> first time you take phone you take order you take address you phone number you send with delivery and you make order it's so hard but uh, next time he go easy 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 now I told my owner thank you so much because he makes this for me yeah. The store that I had was, I'd say it was successful, you know, and at first time it was successful. Many people were happy when uh, I had a store, like my friends, my Filipino friends were there also, they were so excited and uh, they like feel relieved and comfortable that, oh, it's not really a remote place here in Lab City because we can get all our ingredients for our cooking. And so now we can eat our our foods that are like authentic from the Philippines, you know. So they were so happy, you know. And uh, yeah, most of the people also in Lab City were also like curious about what is this store all about and what are being offered here. So it's like the store was just like um, a common point also, you know. There was a common point for us, like uh, where my my friends goes, my Filipino friends goes, and also the Canadians also comes in, and then they meet and we interact, you know, uh, natural interactions just uh, came out, yeah. <clears throat> See, that's very hard, to, this question is very hard to answer, and uh, <clears throat> being the biggest mistake you can do is bring your culture back with you, because right now you live in a completely different culture than you do, for example, like uh, uh, when I opened my restaurant first, I failed. I, I didn't do well. This was 14 years ago. Why? Because uh, in the background was everything like my culture, my ways, uh, and uh, not everybody likes you. Likes, say for example, uh, I like rice. I can't just enforce it, enforce you to eat it or whatever. You know, like I just br can't bring it to you. And what I that's what I done to my business. I brought a piece of my culture in it. Yes, some people love it, some people try it, and, uh, but try to enforce it in people, that's when you lose. You have to take like, you know, a little percentage of it to make it, you know, uh, to let people enjoy it. And in the meantime, it won't be too much for them. Uh, it's a bit difficult to explain, but in the meantime, uh, I advise everybody coming to Canada is to, uh, first of all, know the culture very well. Know uh, what the people like and what they don't like, and try to uh, really uh, try to fit in. And in the meantime, keep your culture and all your ways and your beliefs 
inside you and uh, that's, that, that won't change. And people will accept you the way you are. It doesn't matter what, how different you are. As long as you don't push it into other people and, you know, and you have to learn from mistakes before too. Like, uh, yeah, try to be open mind, try to go on, you know, and be nice to people as you're nice to you, treat people the same, with the same dignity you get treated and things will go perfect with you. That's all. And I take my nice tra traditional from my country and with nice traditional from Canadian and I, I make my, I, you know what, I make my mix traditional between nice here and nice here. That's it. This is when I was born, when I was born and I raised. This is my culture. Culture is, travel, is traveling with you, right? Everywhere. If you are Canadian, if you go to other country, you will travel with your culture, right? But I'm sure I, I respect their culture here. Their culture is very nice and very nice people, honestly. Especially Irish people and British people here. Everyone has different culture, right? Nah, I like that, man. Uh, for sport, I like uh, soccer. First one, second one, I like uh, basketball. Um, now good with hockey and other one. Because one time I go for hockey, I watch, I go cold. Because uh, uh, he frozen. I don't know he, how people he stay in cold. Just I wait for he finish, I go outside. Well, my social life right now is good. I'm not good at making friends, which is bad. But like when I got here, like everyone was so nice. Like I had people approaching me, asking me where I've been, if I need where I come from. Like if I needed anything, they were there. I haven't been to a lot of places around. So not really, but like just crossing the road and the cars will just stop for you. And I'm like, oh, this is nice. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think uh, like that's uh, I've been thinking uh, Canadians and Americans, for example. I think Americans look down in a, in Canadians, and I don't like I don't like that at all. I really don't. Uh, Americans think the Americans they think they are much not better than Canadians, and uh, I don't appreciate that, and I don't like it. And in the meantime, the rest of Canada looks the same thing as Newfoundlanders. And uh, that's something I can sense it because I, I'm not new. I'm not a Newfoundlander, but I have friends from everywhere in Canada, as I said. And uh, I see like the people from the mainland. They don't really like Newfoundland, and they look down a little bit on it. And I don't really like this. And uh, that's something negative too that I really don't like. Yeah. Dif different culture in Iraq and here. Uh, for food, different. For a clothes, different. Uh, but for medication or education, same, free in Iraq before when he Saddam Hussein. And now in Iraq, different government, not good. But here in Canada, good now because peace for me and for my family. And medication is good. And education for children is good. I am happy. When I saw my children very happy, I am very happy. And I looking for my husband because my husband like job. 
He is uh, good when he came to Canada. He got uh, two tickets for subtraction and he uh, got a uh, license for a driver for a big truck. I am very happy. I will do the best I can to uh, better the community while I'm here because, as I said before, I consider this my home and wherever I end up, I consider it my home and I will leave this place better than I have come. So I have brought many positive things to Labrador to, you know, expand pride parade we brought our first ever in labrador history drag night this year in pride and you're looking at the crown queen right here <laughs> No, I haven't been called in for any jobs. So like right now, I'm just looking for a job on campus. I think it's a good start. Then I'll look for a job elsewhere. Because I think the main problem is I don't have any work experience from here. So I think that's why I'm finding it really hard to get a job. I have work experience from home. I worked for Haifa and I worked for a retail um, company. I applied for my first job around November and I'm still searching, still looking. I haven't had any responses so it is quite difficult but I'm still hopeful. <laughs> and uh, I need to uh, to tell something about uh, Canadian people or the companies to help uh, can uh, a refugee if uh, anyone he came from uh, any countries from uh, Africa or Egypt or any countries if anyone uh, ask uh, him to start to work with you gave him a chance if he doesn't have uh, experience uh, here he has a lot of experience in Middle East. I know here many procedures. Okay, you must do that, 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 okay. But must to uh, help us. Because uh, if you don't hire uh, this person or this people, who will uh, hire this people? How can this people uh, work and pay tax for the government. Why all the people just finish here uh, three years or two years and uh, left Newfoundland to live in uh, Toronto, uh, Vancouver, Alberta, because not anyone gave these people chance to work, to stay here. Please, uh, we need uh, to build uh, Newfoundland together and uh, we need to uh, build a big uh, future uh, and big uh, big community here if we are working together please uh, help us and when you help us we will help you because you will help yourself 
because all the people will work and we will live together uh, that's it actually uh, because uh, i was uh, I'm in my country i'm a lawyer so it's hard to find a job here in canada because they doesn't care about my education in egypt and they doesn't count my my times there for for work um, so i have to study again this is the problem you know i have to start again from the first step which i mean i have to study something I, I just am really proud to be a new Canadian and uh, I would love to do something here because this is my chance. I'm here in Canada and I have to to, to make difference. And I love uh, the multicultures in Canada. Actually, I, I was surprised to see all of this uh, kind of uh, multicultural and uh, I love it. It's really, really nice uh, and uh, kind. It's really special for Canada.